What's up, guys? This is Aaron from the Project Capital. We're here at the Rich TV Live. How's it going, Rich? It's going good. How are you doing today, bud? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So we haven't spoke since legalization. So I wanted to touch base with you, see what's going on, and anything new. How was how was the day? What'd you do? Did you do anything exciting? Yeah, I uh, went to a uh, cannabis legalization party on uh, the island in Victoria. It was a great party. Got a chance to uh, see Tommy Chong for the first time ever, a Canadian <clears throat> cannabis icon. For those of you that don't know that are maybe a little older, he is the partner of Chi Chen Chong, the, the <laughs> famous Canadian cannabis, I guess, icon. He used... Yeah, he's always been an advocate of cannabis. So we got a chance to hear from him directly. He sang Oh Canada and <laughs> praised the gods for cannabis. So he's a huge fan of cannabis and it was awesome to see him. And he's in his 70s now. So wow. yeah, he's really uh, come a long way. And we got a chance to see Ludacris perform and that was pretty awesome. And got awesome. the fans. What, what, songs, what songs did he perform? All his top songs, you know, he hasn't really put out any new songs in years. So all of his yeah. all, all his top songs, I mean, they're all pretty old now. Um, yeah. But yeah, they're all they're all pretty much long term hits. And oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a it was a big hit for all the fans. Everybody was into it, and it was a pretty cool party. It was a private party with about four hundred people inside and outside of this uh, club called Club District in Victoria. And uh, it was nuts. People were smoking inside the club. People were dabbing outside the club. Uh, it was pretty intense, actually. And uh, free food, uh, free weed. We were giving away free CBDs. PrairiePure.ca, guys. That's our company. We were giving away free CBDs. And we got a chance to, to network with lots of licensed LPs, uh, private companies that are doing IPOs, a lot of companies that are going to be going public. And a lot of companies that are interested in working with Rich TV Live in a media capacity, working with us to do CBDs and working with our distribution to expand globally. So yeah, man, it was exciting. We also partnered up with a co-packaging plant. So any of you companies out there need, that need packaging, we got a packaging plant as well. And we partnered up with a data company. So any public companies out there that need data services, we can now provide data services so detailed that we can determine the amount of water going to the plants, the amount of nutrients going into the plants, the air quality, the amount of light, the amount of everything you want to know about your crops. We can, we can uh, pretty much put the data together for that now and do it in a way where it's beneficial for you, the company. And the company that we work with is pretty open-minded as far as compensation and how that you guys can work with them. So we're pretty excited about the partnership. So Rich TV Live now is a media company, a CBD company, and a data company. So yeah, we're blessed, man. We're blessed. That's amazing. So much going on. We've got so much. We've got so much more than just videos to bring to everybody, right? Absolutely. And we're excited to let everybody know that Departures Capital and Rich TV Live, we're going to work together. So whether you're part of Rich TV Live, whether you're part of Departures Capital, you're all welcome to be a part of this cannabis legalization revolution and i told you guys that the legalization day was not the end it was the start <laughs> and it exactly. is the start guys now a lot of people oh cannabis legalization the markets are going to explode and i always said i go i don't really know about that mm -hmm. they might they might not clearly we saw they did it i believe long term we are going to see lots of explosions in this industry it's only getting mm -hmm. started but it's going to be more like sneak attacks so oh, yeah. what we're doing here in our community is we're focusing on companies that are getting licensed positioning yeah. ourselves in companies before they're licensed like nsp doesn't have a license yet fsd pharma doesn't have their license mm -hmm. yet these are types of companies that once they receive their licenses we will see some upside and then oh, yeah. the four companies that are going to the senior exchange. Clearly, Aurora has already announced the 23rd. Afria yep. is announcing they're uplisting now. They just filed a Form 40. Yeah, uh, I saw that. Alifia is announcing they're going up. Cantrust is announcing they're going up. Those four companies, people are like, oh, what should I buy? I'm looking at those four as short-term plays that could see some short-term upside because of the uplisting. So Totally, totally. We're looking for companies that have some type of news that's going to be a catalyst. 
However, my opinion is that what goes up must come down. So be careful. Yeah, exactly. No, those are definitely four great companies to look at. Everyone's like, I feel like everyone now is like, what, what stocks do I buy? What stocks do I buy? And obviously we don't advise people to buy stocks on here. Like that's not exactly what we do. We just provide information and all that stuff. But the stocks that I am looking at, yeah, they're the exact ones that you talked about. Well, so. it's funny that you say that because I've been doing some day trading within my community and I've won yep. six trades in a row, all public trades, all trades that were penny stocks, actually all under 10 cents. And just for fun, I've been telling people, I've been calling my trades. Okay, guys, I bought at this price, sold at this price. And I did that today on DIRV, another oh, company yeah. that's in cannabis security, uh, an mm -hmm. American company, got in at 1.4, sold today at 1.68, uh, put in 1,400 US, made a quick 350 US in a couple days. So we're doing that now. We're just, you know, experimenting with those types of trades. And we've been very successful within yeah. our community. So For um, sure. There was one company I did want to throw in there. Micron Waste Technologies. I know Aurora owns quite a bit of them. They're about 50, 60 cents. They're an interesting one. Yes, yes. I have them on my radar. I haven't purchased yeah. them yet, but they are one that I'm watching as well. Absolutely. Yeah, very, very cool. They deal with uh, the waste in the cannabis industry, which is obviously going to be, you know, a big business as well. Oh, yeah, so. for sure. I mean, a lot of people in the beginning, they were just interested in flour. So yeah. When I yeah. say flower, I mean cannabis. Okay. They mm -hmm. just want to sell cannabis. Well, yeah. what we're finding now, there's a huge amount of interest in CBDs. Yep. There's a huge amount of interest in security. There's a huge amount of interest in lighting. Mm. There's a huge amount of interest in <laughs> soil. There's a huge amount of interest in so many different aspects of the industry. And one of the things that people are very excited about with us, we're focused on the European market for CBDs. Yeah, yeah. So Canada's yeah. so small. We're talking like 36 million people. Whereas exactly. Europe as a whole, as a continent, we're talking over 500 million people that yeah. we can sell CBDs to. So we're finding a lot of interest in our business because of the fact that we are targeting Europe. Because I'm European, I'm from Portugal. My partner Luke yeah. is 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 from the UK, so he's he's got relationships in the UK. So we're going to be going to Europe very soon, by the end of this month, actually, to launch our CBD business. Yeah, that's amazing. That was something that I definitely wanted to talk about. As as our channels gain more exposure, I mean, your your channels in how many countries? Over sixty countries worldwide. Yeah, exactly. And I've been noticing that my channels in. It more newer countries just keep coming up, you know, Europe, all over Europe. And it's amazing to see the people around the globe are watching our videos. So yes. let's just quickly touch on CBDs and the kind of business that we're looking to build. Just give me a little bit about the CBD network that we're trying to build right now, just for the viewers. So the biggest thing that everybody wants is they want distribution. So every yeah. company wants to get into CBDs, but unless you have mm -hmm. sales, you ain't making any money. So what we decided was, why don't we build the largest team of distributors worldwide? So we started that process and all the companies are excited about it and we have no exclusivity. So we can work with all you guys. Everybody who wants yeah. our services, holler at your boy. So we decided, why don't we become the largest distribution company providing distribution services worldwide? Because like you just said, we've got a worldwide global following. So and why don't we, yeah, so why don't we take these subscribers, followers, loyal watchers and members and provide mm -hmm. them with the opportunity to get into the cannabis space? Exactly. Through the public company's licenses. So you go, you work with us, we introduce you to the company, you operate under their license. You're now yeah. working under their licensing, under their jurisdiction. You're working with the companies directly. So if these companies, companies are looking to hire in positions, administrative positions, positions within their factories, we can now yeah. provide jobs for you, the people in the cannabis space, whether it be through CBDs, whether it be through oh, yeah. flower, whether it be through administration, whether it be through media, whether it be through data, we are becoming a one-stop shop for the entire industry. 
Rich TV Live at that event was the first of many events that we are now going to be a part of. So anytime there's going to be a large event, you can assume that your boy Rich will be at that event, networking, building relationships, making new relationships, making new partnerships. So you, the people, have more opportunity. This is all about you, the people. The reason that we are growing so quickly is because of you, the people. That's the truth. So I thought about it and I was like, well, it doesn't matter if you're in Switzerland, Sweden, China, India, Africa, Asia, the South America, North America, mm -hmm. anywhere, the Caribbean, you can work with us now. As long as the licensed LP that we're working with can operate in your jurisdiction, you can work with us. So holler at your boy. That's the beauty of it, definitely. So yeah, that's awesome news with all the CBDs and stuff. So we're gonna to touch on two more things and two topics that everyone's asking about. MedMen and MPX. So let's start with MPX. MPX. They just did a huge deal with Ianthus for about 800 million in stock. Yep. Um, it's funny because I've been talking about MPX, telling everybody to buy MPX. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, I sold it on the last bump. So I didn't yep. take advantage of this jump because I already sold. You know, <laughs> yep. I sold a little soon, but it's okay. You know, I'm happy that members held and they won. Um, yep. I think it's a good deal for MPX. I anticipate we're going to see more and more of these deals. The smaller companies that are revenue generating, but they're not doing well in the markets. Yep. Just expect they'll get taken over. Exactly. It's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. If I'm a Probably. stock, I'm a, I'll give you a stock that I think I'm almost sure is going to get taken over. A hit. New Strike Brands. New Strike Brands. They've got yeah. licenses in all five provinces. They got 125 million in the bank, and they can't do anything with their stock. So clearly, they're incapable of doing anything in the markets. They don't yeah, have a exactly. clue when it comes to the markets. So expect them to get acquired. You heard it here first. Stock. Remember where you heard it first. <laughs> and this stock hasn't performed that well over the last little while. It's performed so, terribly. Terribly. Yeah. Terribly. So <clears throat> yeah, I anticipate so. they're sitting there on the street saying, hey, guys, we got five licenses. We got $125 million. Our stock is cheap. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. They look like yeah, MPX exactly. to me. They look like MPX to me. Um, it's going to get acquired. It's just a matter oh, of time. For, They've already proven sure. that they're incapable. And, and I'm That's saying the, this as a shareholder. I know for a fact. Mm -hmm. I've watched them go from $0.50 cents up to $3 when they were about to get acquired by MedRelief, if you remember. Yeah. And yeah. then Aurora acquired MedRelief, nixed the deal. Yeah. And since then, the stock has tanked all the way down. So I think they're literally on the street saying, hey, guys, who wants us? We're cheap. <laughs> we got money in the bank. We got all the licenses in the world and we clearly don't know what we're doing. So come buy us out, please, please, please. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. That's a really great one to take a look at, for sure. So the last stock we're talking about today, MedMen, it's been on an insane run, almost $4 billion market cap, might be over $4 billion today. Let's hear your take on it. I've been telling everybody in the community, people are like, buy MedMen, buy MedMen, buy MedMen. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> Um, I look at a stock and I say, okay, what is the 52-week low? What is the 52-week high? Yeah. And if it's close to that 52-week high, I'm just chilling. I'm watching from the sidelines. I'm chilling like a villain. I ain't going near it. I want to buy stocks at a 52-week low. I'm not chasing yes. at a 52-week high. If I do exactly. chase at a 52-week high, it's a momentum trade for me. And I might have to take a stop loss if it starts crashing which I don't like to do. So if it goes up like DIRV, if it goes up 10, 20, 30%, take your money yep. and run. Because DIRV is very high up. It's not at a 52 week high, but it's close to it. So you have to be okay. willing to take your money and run when you get close to a 52 week high. Now, does that mean that MedMen could go higher? Of course it could. Of course, of course it could. Yeah. However, day traders, speculators, short traders, institutional investors, just retail investors, when they see those profits, they're going to take them and run. That's the oh, way yeah. they trade. That's the way they've been trained to trade. So I'll give you an example. Aurora Cannabis. What did they do to T-God? They sold their stock. Why? Because they yeah. saw a profit. So if Aurora Cannabis is buying in the red, selling in the green, why won't you do that? Just things yeah, to make exactly. you go, hmm. I mean, <laughs> if, if they're publicly saying, guys, we took our profits. Canopy Growth has publicly said, guys, we took our profits. 
<laughs> like, yeah. and you're going to hold? I, I no, just, for sure. just things to think about, guys. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do, of course, but it's just things to think about. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I just want to ask one more question, and this is T God. Um, <clears throat> what do you think about T God at these levels? I mean, now that it has sold from 10 down to 5, um, what's your take on it? Because I, I remember getting a bunch of questions about T God. So let's just wrap this up with T God. I love it. I love it. It's going to go to 20 bucks one day. One day we're going to look back at this and we're going to say, holy shit, we could have bought Tigo to five bucks. The only reason why they've been yeah. going down is because we're our sold $23 million worth of, $23 million worth of stock. So yeah. yeah, that'll drive a stock down. So, for sure, for you know, sure. and publicly putting it out there. Oh yeah, by the way, we sold 20 plus million or 30 million worth of stock and we'll just keep doing that and we'll, yeah. we'll announce it publicly. So, and the fact that they didn't uh, re they didn't take the option to reinvest into them. They didn't take the option them. to reinvest. They had a board member leave the board, and they've been yeah. dumping their stock. Camp Alley, yeah. So, you know, what do I think? I think that uh, it's a great company. I think it could go yeah. lower. I think it could go lower because Aurora is dumping all their stock. So, yeah. I think it could go lower, but I do or believe at some point into the fours. You think? Yeah, why not? But I do believe that at some point it's going to hit a floor and it's going to explode. So yeah, I think sure. uh, T God is a great company. No debt, money in the bank, huge facilities. They're a huge awesome production they're a huge, capacity. Yeah, yeah they've scaled. They've scaled really fast. Yeah, they're a huge winner. There's no brainer. I mean, it's it's just like anything, man. They go up, they go long down. Term. It could take a little while, but yeah, long term, I think T God should do very well. I think right now we're in a very interesting period where yeah. all the hype is done. We're no longer like, oh, hype, 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 legalization, legalization, legalization. Now it's a different countdown. Now it's, okay, what are your revenues? Yes, very important. I think that will drive the market. The next quarter is going to be crucial. Yes. And it's going to be interesting to see because I think some stocks are going to continue to explode and some are just going to crash and burn. Absolutely. And the ones that are weaker will be acquired. That's my anticipation yep. because all the bigger companies are just going to say, ah, oh, you know what? We need to try to maintain our market cap because yeah, we can't course. justify it because we're trading at 200 times revenue. So let's just acquire all these little businesses. So we've got yep. this massive conglomerate and that's essentially exactly. what Aurora Cannabis, Afria, yep. Cannabis Growth are building. Exactly. Medman, all the bigger companies, Ianthus, that's why they acquired MPX. They're trying to justify these unjustifiable market caps. Yeah, exactly. What are they going to do with all the capital? It, it makes sense to acquire. So, all right, Rich. Well, this has been an awesome talk. So much news. I think we answered a ton of questions. So I'm really happy with the talk we had today. I look forward to I look forward to collaborating with you in the future, as always. And I'm going to say. Have a good day to all the viewers, guys. Give us like, give us some likes. Make sure to like and subscribe. Drop some comments. Let us know how you guys thought about the video. And we're always trying to bring you guys the best content, the most exciting stuff, the best breaking news. So stay tuned. It's true. You're not winning. You're not watching. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence. Holler at your boy. Oh, peace. Peace. All right, I stopped this.